Okay, another short problem for diesel cycle. So, the problem goes like this. Answer natin siya, ha? So, in an air standard diesel cycle, compression starts at 100 kPa and uh, 300 k. So, compression starts. Ibig sabihin, you have P1, which is 100 uh, kPa. Absolute na yan. And then, 300 Kelvin, 41. 300 degree Kelvin. Now, you are given the compression ratio of 16 to 1. Ibig sabihin, RK will be equal to 16 over 1. Or simply, 16. Yan yung RK mo. The maximum cycle temperature is 231 degree Kelvin. Ayun, kunin natin sa mga previous problems. Yung diagram. Ayun, pag hindi mo ma-recognize, okay, hindi mo siya ma-recognize, medyo mahina ka dun sa solving. Kailangan lagi mo yung drawing yung diagram. Now, you have a compression ratio. Ibig sabihin, yan yung ratio ng maximum volume, which is V1, and then minimum volume, which is V2. Okay? Even na yun. And then, meron kang maximum temperature, which is T3, is equal to 200, at uh, 2031. 2031 degree Kelvin. Now, anong hinahanap niya? The thermal efficiency. What is the thermal efficiency? Tignan natin. Anong formula for thermal efficiency? <clears throat> efficiency is equal to work net over QA. Ang problema, wala tayong work net, wala tayong QA. Okay? Meron tayong RK. There is another form or another way in order for you to solve the thermal efficiency. Given, nagagamitin mo yung kanyang RK and then RC. So, 1 minus 1 over R k raised to k minus 1 and then i-multiply mo ng ano yung rc minus 1 ayan ilapit natin minus 1 tapos rc minus 1 okay ang palatandaan dito saan mo ilalagay yung k kapag ang k nasa taas nasa taas siya kapag ang k naman nasa baba eh din nasa baba din yung k now you have the working formula for this problem Ang kailangan mo lang hanapin dyan is RC. Saan ba nangyayari ang RC? Yung RK mo, nangyayari yan sa minimum and maximum volume. Andito, yung RK mo. Yung RC mo, saan ka nag-cut off? Yung cut off mo, mangyayari from here up to here. Ito yung cut off ratio mo. Yung expansion mo, kung saan nag-expand. Now, check na yun. Yung RC, kung ang RK, the maximum volume, and then the minimum volume. Dito, sa RC, ang pagbabasihan mo pa rin, yung pinakamataas na volume divided by the minimum volume. V3 divided by V2. Okay? Ang kailangan nating hanapin dyan, V2 and V3, para masolve natin yung kanyang uh, RC. Okay. Let's go here. Meron na tayong P1, P2. Correct. Uh, P1, T2. Wala pa. So, meron akong T1, P1, wala akong V1. Okay. Pwede ko makuha si V1 using ideal gas law. PV on uh, <coughs> 0.1 to 2. Use PV MRT equation or the ideal gas law. Since meron ka ng dalawang parameter dyan, present na yung iyong temperature and then yung, yung pressure. Okay. What's that specific? Pwede Specific volume ang kukunin natin dito. So, V1 is equal to M R E1 divided by E1. Since ito specific volume. Okay, divide na lang ng mass. So, the specific volume there is equal to R T1 over P1. This is an air standard engine. Okay? So, yung R niya is for air. Yan. Follow my lead, ha? So, V1 equal to, ang R ng air in SI units, that is 0 0.28708 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Okay. Good na yan. Now, yung T1 mo, that is already in uh, Kelvin or uh, in absolute, that is 300K. And then, P1 <coughs> in KPA. That is 100 
kilonewton per meter squared. Convert mo na agad ng ganong unit. Kilonewton per meter squared. Na yung kilojoule mo is simply kilonewton meter. Now, we can cancel out the same units. Yung kilonewton, kilonewton, kelvin, kelvin. Yung meter squared and meter, aakit tong meter dito, mamumultiply siya dun sa meter na yun. So, may game meter cube. So, what will happen? Ang value niyan lalabas is in cubic meter per kilogram. So, the specific volume at 1 is 0.28708 times 300. <coughs> Uh, divide by 100, the answer will be 0 0.86124. Wag muna tayo mag-round off. 0 0.86124 meter cube per kilogram. That is V1. Okay? Pablo natin yan. So, i-store ko yung value sa A. Okay? I store the value at A. Ngayon, sa RK, makahanap ko na si V2. Okay, dito. Hanapin natin si V2 sa RK, ha? Dito, sa RK na yan. So, V2 will be equal to V1 divided by RK. Ano yung RK? Rich kid? Hindi. Compression ratio yan. So, V1 is uh, 0 0.86124 meter cube per kilogram divided by 16. Kasi RK is 16. <coughs> So, divide na lang natin ng 16. Nilit yung volume niya. So, the volume now will be 0 0.0538275 meter cube in every kilogram. So, that is V2. Now, anong relationship ang meron dito sa process 2 to 3? Okay, you go to process 2 to 3 at point 2 to 3. Anong process yun? <coughs> uh, isobaric heat addition. So, since that is isobaric heat addition, tignan mo, constant ang pressure dyan pag isobaric. Pressure is constant. Ngayon, hindi ka makasunod, ba? Gamitin mo to. <coughs> Yung combined gas do. So, P2, V2, divided by T2, equal to P3, multiplied to V3, divided by T3. Ngayon, constant ang pressure mo dyan, isobaric nga, o di cancel out mo yung parehas. We say that P2 is equal to P3. Cancel mo na si P2, tsaka si P3. Tignan nyo ha. <clears throat> Meron kayong mapapansin dyan, using yung V3 nyo and V2. V3 is a bit higher than the Volume nun to, which is the minimum volume of the system. From top dead center to bottom dead center, nasa kalagitnaan yung V3. O, kunin mo yung relationship ng ratio ng volumes dun sa ratio ng temperature, which is maximum and then minimum. O, T3 divided by T2. Now, may napansin ba kayo dyan na ang V3 and V2 is simply equal yan sa RC? Then we can solve now yung... Ano? Hindi na natin pala kailangan isolve yung V2. Diba? Pinatunayan ko lang sa inyo na ang shortcut dyan sa RC is T3 divided by T2. Okay? So, RC now is T3 divided by T2. Yung T3 nyo binigay na dyan eh. Maximum temperature of the system, 2031 degree Kelvin. Divide mo ng 3. Uh, T2 pala, hindi pala na-solve. Oh, yun pala. Okay. Masasolve ko pala si T2. Okay? Mayroon pala ako nakalimutan dyan. <clears throat> Kung given si 3, T3, si T2 pala, solve ko. Paano ko masasolve si T2? Even yung RK, may RK ka na eh. RK is, RK raised to <clears throat> K minus 1 equal to T2 over T1. <clears throat> masolve ko na si T2. T2 is simply, yan na, simply, uh, T1 multiplied to RK raised to K minus 1. Basic yan. So, T1 is 300 multiplied to 16 raised to 1.4 minus 1. Sa calculator mo, kahit 0.4 na lang yan, makukuha mo na si T2. T2 is uh, 300 
multiplied to 16 raised to 1.4 minus 1, that is 0.4. So, a bit higher yung kanyang temperature sa T2. But less than the maximum temperature. That is equal to 909.43 degree Kelvin. Nakuha ko na si T2. O, wala na tayong problema. Makukuha na natin yung RC. Okay. RC is equal to <coughs> 2031 degree Kelvin divided by yung nakuha kong answer 909.43 degree Kelvin. We cancel all the same units. RC will become <coughs> 2031 909.43. Very basic lang yung problem. 2.23. 2.2333. Ayan yung RC natin. We can now get the thermal efficiency. So, thermal efficiency of the system. 1 minus. <clears throat> yung RK natin is 16. 1 divided by 16 raised to 1.4 minus 1. Multiplied to yung RC which is 2.2333 raised to uh, <clears throat> Raised to K, 1.4 minus 1. Tapos 1.4 multiplied to 2.2333 minus 1. And then, multiply natin lahat siya ng 100%. Para makuha natin. What will be the thermal efficiency? Tignan natin kung tatama ba yung nakalagay na sagot dun. So, unahin ko muna yung loob. Ang tamang pag-solve nito, unahin ko muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis bago ko minus to 1. So, ganito yan. 1 divided by 16 raised to 2.4. Multiply ko ng... Hindi, hindi dyan. Nasa taas. Multiply to 2.233 raised to 1.4. Minus 1. Divide by 1.4. So, multiply ko na lang to 2.33 to 2.33. Minus 1, that is 1.22, 1.2333. Nakakabulol, no? O, ganun na lang. Minimental mat yung iba. O. Ay, bakit naging ganun? Wala palang parenthesis sa labas. Tapos, minus 1. Binaliktad ko lang. Times 100%. Now, the answer is, Absolute value natin, gusto nyo? Saan ba absolute value dito? Meron dito absolute value. Magkakaalam. Ay, medyo hindi ko nakabisado yung calculator. Pag naging absolute value. Basta nandito lang yan. Hindi ko lang makita sa calculator. Mm. So, that is 60%. 60.26%. Tignan nga natin kung tumama yung answer natin. 60.264%. That is the final answer. Very basic lang yung problem natin. You know, di ba? Kayang-kaya. So that is problem number 3, 4, diesel cycle.